Hi everyone, welcome back. Having discussed about how to customize the Syncfusion Angular charts with different chart axis types like category, numeric, and logarithmic axis in my previous videos. Now, in this video, I will show you how to display the date time labels at the horizontal axis instead of numeric intervals along with its other customizable options. In this case, I may need to make use of the date time axis in my chart to achieve this. So, before looking onto it, let me show you a simple example. Have a look at this line series chart that shows the average sales variation between the year 2000 and 2010. So, here the date time labels are displayed, that is the year labels are displayed at the x axis by making use of the date time axis. So, let me show you now how to write the code to use this date time axis in my existing getting started application. As I have already explained about how to add a simple angular chart of Syncfusion to the Angular application, please listen to my getting started video to know the basic steps. And you can find its reference link in the description part below. First, let me open my existing application and I will start adding a line series chart to it. As I am going to define the date time values on x axis, I may need to open the app module file, import the date time service and the line series service from Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the provider section to start using the date time values on x axis of line series chart. Ok, now let me open the app component HTML file. Here, to have a better clarity, I am removing the existing chart properties that are defined during the getting started part and simply retain the single series chart code with a single E series tab. And now, set its series type as line as I am going to use line series chart. Now, let me start populating the data for the chart. As I have planned to display the chart showing the average sales variation from the year 2000 to 2010. So, let me open the app component class and declare a variable data and assign the sales data along with its corresponding date time values. So, here the date values are assigned to x axis and its sales value are assigned to the y-axis. And now, I am going to assign this data object to the data source property of the chart. Also, I will map this data source field date to the xName property and sales field to the yName property of the chart. The next thing is, I need to set title for the chart. So, let me declare a variable chart title and set its value as average sales comparison to convey what the chart data is exactly illustrating about. Now, I will assign this chart title to the title property of the chart. As I am going to use line series chart, so let me enable the data marker on chart by declaring a variable marker settings and set its visible option as true. Ok, now let me bind this object to the marker property of the chart. Now, the basic settings to display a simple line series chart is done. And the next important step here is, I need to define the axis type for x-axis of the chart now to display the date time values at x-axis. So, within the app component class, let me declare a variable x-axis and set its value type as date time to it. Now, I am going to bind this object to the primary x-axis property of the chart. So here, you can view the line series chart that displays the date time values on x axis with the main title displaying as average sales comparison. Ok, now let me set the relevant titles for x axis and y axis of the chart. So, I will open the app component class and set the appropriate titles for x axis as date time value within the x axis object. And for y axis, I need to declare a variable y axis and set its title as sales. As I have already mapped this x-axis object to the primary x-axis property, so let me bind this y-axis object to the primary y-axis property of the chart. And now, you can view the chart output with the relevant titles for x-axis as date time and the y-axis title as sales. In this chart output, have a look at this axis label at the edge, where the label 2010 seems to be cropped as it is placed outside the chart area. So, now I will show you how to move this axis label at the edge inside the chart area by setting edge label placement property to shift within the x-axis object. And now, you can view the chart output that displays the axis label at the edge within the chart area. 
All right, now I will explain the daytime axis properties one by one with simple scenarios. Here, you can see the x-axis values that ranges from the year 2000 to 2010. So, now I will show you how to set the custom axis range on the x-axis. To set the custom range, I am going to add two additional properties, minimum and maximum, within the x-axis object. Here, I have set the date values for the minimum and maximum properties that ranges from the year 1999 to 2011 as the date values in the chart's data source ranges between the year 2000 and 2010. Now, you can see the chart output here displaying custom date range values in its x-axis that ranges from the year 1999 to 2011 and showing the data points more clearly. Like these minimum and maximum properties, you can also set custom interval and interval type for the x-axis values. So, to set the custom interval and interval type on x-axis, I may need to make use of the interval and interval type properties. Here, the daytime axis supports seven interval types like auto, years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. You can choose one of the interval types based on your x data. In this chart output, the default axis interval is 1 and the interval type is auto. So, the x-axis takes its interval value as 1 here based on the data. Now, let me show you how to set custom interval and change the interval type for x-axis. So, within the app component class, I am defining the interval property as 2 and interval type as years so that the x-axis labels will show the year values at an interval of 2 instead of 1. Now when you look at the chart output, you can see the chart axis which shows the x-axis values like 1999, 2001, 2003 and so on with its interval being incremented by 2. Well, the next important property is label format with which you can customize your chart axis label to convey more information. To this property, I can set either the globalized or custom label format. So let me show you a table to have glance on globalized label formats. Now, to display the axis labels in year month format, let me define the label format property as ym within the x-axis object. And now, you can view the chart output which shows the x-axis labels in year month format as 1999 July, 2001 July and so on. Alright, now I am going to show you how to apply range padding for x-axis of the chart. Here, you can add padding for both the minimum and maximum extremes of x-axis range values by using the range padding property. Also, daytime axis supports three types of range padding like none, round and additional. Okay, now let me set the range padding for the axis range. Here, to have a better clarity about the range padding behavior, I am going to remove these properties from x-axis object. Now, I am going to show the minimum and maximum extremes based on the sales data. Therefore, let me set the range padding option as none. So here, you can view the chart output showing the minimum and maximum extremes based on the sales data. Say for example, if I change the range padding option as additional, then you can look at the difference in this output page where the interval value of x-axis are added to the minimum and maximum extremes of the axis. So this is how the range padding works. Alright, finally, I am going to show you how to display the daytime values with non-linear interval. Sometimes, depending on your exact chart data, you may want to display only the business days of a week in the daytime axis. So, in this case, I may need to make use of the daytime category axis in my chart to achieve this. Now, to show this axis type with better clarity, I am going to use a simple stock market data to the chart's data source as the stock market price usually changes only on the weekdays from Monday to Friday so that you can find the data only for 5 days now. So within the app module file, import the date and category service from Synfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the provider section as well. Then to customize the chart axis with date time category, let me open the app component class. Here within the x-axis object, I have changed the value type as daytime category and removed the unwanted properties. Along with this, I have also changed the interval type as days since the business days of the week will be shown in the daytime axis. Then, 
I have also redefined the chart data source with stock market data with its corresponding date time values. As these variables are already mapped to the appropriate chart properties like data source and primary x axis. And now you can view the chart output which shows the business days alone at the x axis so that the data points are continuously shown here. Okay, now let's make a quick recap about this session. Here in this video, we have seen how to plot and customize the date time values in the x axis of the Angular charts using its properties like value type, range padding, and label format. Also, we have discussed about the date time category axis type to show the date time values with nonlinear interval. If you find this video as useful, don't forget to click a like button and to subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks for watching this video.